From high school students to people with PhDs, studies have shown we can all fall victim to misinformation online. That's why ABC 10 News and our parent company, EW Scripts, are teaming up with a nonprofit whose mission is to help people figure out what's credible. Our ABC 10 News reporter Derek Stahl introduces us to the News Literacy Project. To start, we gave six people a quiz over Zoom to see how good they were at sorting facts from fiction. We told them there were no rules and they could double check anything before answering. Question one, finish this iconic film quote, blank, I am your father. That one's pretty famous. It's Luke, I am your father. Luke? Luke. No, I messed it up! The quiz was developed by the News Literacy Project, a nonpartisan national education nonprofit. You think immediately you know the answer, and, but you don't take a step back to verify that you know it to be true. Question two. In the original animated Snow White, which phrase activates the queen's mirror? I think it's A, mirror, mirror on the wall, but that seems to be too easy of an answer. <laughs> I'm going to not use the resources available to me, aka the internet, and take a wild guess. That's one of the biggest problems that we're dealing with connected to misinformation. Misinformation wants us to react out of an emotional response without verifying information, without thinking about it. The News Literacy Project has been teaching people to spot misinformation since 2008, when the group was founded by a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist named Alan C. Miller. They primarily work with teachers and high school students through in-person trainings, a podcast, an app, and their main tool, an online classroom called Checkology that became free for everyone this year. Students need to learn how to be able to evaluate and verify information for themselves. It's really about understanding how to take a step back, the right questions to ask, and the right ways of using verification tools to figure out what's authentic and what's not. They try to drive home the points that posts can be misleading, pictures can be manipulated, and you should check information against credible sources. Those are places that follow standards and hold themselves accountable. In 2018, ABC News suspended longtime investigative reporter Brian Ross after he got facts wrong. He later resigned. Our quiz testants eventually got the idea. Okay. All right, I need to phone Google here. It looks like you, you Googled it. I did. Which is exactly what you're supposed to do. We all probably don't know as much as we think we do. And um, always double check. The News Literacy Project has several online quizzes to see how well you can spot credible news sources. You can find them on 10news.com. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Research shows the majority of high school students do struggle to spot false information online. We are kids and uh, some of us don't realize that the information that we are receiving online can sometimes be really harmful to us. Students at Challenger Middle School in Mira Mesa, they are learning how to separate fact from fiction with a course called Checkology. The online lessons teach kids about the five types of misinformation. This video of a group of bikers is what's called false context. Someone posted it claiming that it was a recent protest. Images can be manipulated to where that image can be six or seven years old and it's it's thrown with a statement that's current, but the image doesn't fit. So that's another thing we have to check for. Checkology has lessons on everything from spotting deep fakes to debunking conspiracy theories, and it's available to everyone for free. And we are highlighting the lessons on 10news.com as part of a National News Literacy Week. You can find links right now on our homepage.